exponential functions, but this one has a little twist. This number out front is supposed to show us our y-intercept, what value we start with. This is what it's supposed to be changing by, but we can't exactly see what it's changing by yet because it's being raised to a 4, 6. To kind of get rid of this non-standard form, I'd jump in Desmos, I'd do 1.04, raise it to the power of 4 over 6, and that would tell us our true decimal change. But this one changes again, because normally they look for each year. This one is looking for every 18 months. So let's think about that. If t is in years, right, when t is equal to 1, that would be 1 year or 12 months, right? So I just have to think, okay, well, if 12 months is, is 1 for t, what would 18 months be? And again, that's just going to be t is equal to 1.5. So before we even worry about that 4, 6, maybe they kind of set it up for us to, to be a coincidence here. If I plug in 1.5 for T, because that would be every 18 months, so let's get rid of that, that becomes a 1.5. And if you calculate 1.5 times 4 over 6, that actually just gets you an exponent of 1. So whether it's a coincidence or not, my all our exponents end up being 1. This does show just a 4% increase. Remember, we start at 1, whatever bigger than 1 it is, that's your percentage increase. Your answer still turns out to be C here.